All right, let's talk graphics cards, because honestly, choosing a GPU in 2025 might be the hardest it's ever been. Prices are unpredictable, performance varies wildly across models, and both AMD and NVIDIA are pushing AI features so aggressively that it's hard to tell what's real and what's marketing fluff. So today, we're cutting straight through the noise. Based on extensive real-world benchmarks, power measurements, and game testing, these are the five graphics cards that actually matter this year. Let's get into it. Number 5. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 Starting off with the easiest, best high-end pick ever, the RTX 5090 is simply the fastest consumer GPU on the planet. It packs 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory and pushes roughly 1.7 terabytes per second of bandwidth, backed by over 21,000 CUDA cores. Even with that huge amount of silicon, the board power lands around 575 watts, which is a lot, but honestly expected at this tier. Performance-wise, this thing sits about 30% ahead of the RTX 4090 at native 4K in most games, and it stretches even further ahead when you enable NVIDIA's new multi-frame generation. This tech inserts up to three AI-generated frames between each rendered frame, and the results can be ridiculous. Triple-digit 4K performance in games where that wasn't remotely possible on previous generations. But of course, none of this comes cheap. The Founders Edition starts at $2,000, and third-party models regularly hit $2,500. If you want the absolute best GPU money can buy, this is the one. But for everyone else, we've got far better options coming up. Number 4. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti Sliding into the mid-range, the RTX 5070 Ti is the sweet spot for high refresh rate 1440p gaming. It ships with 16 gigabytes of GDDDR7 and nearly 900 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, giving it a ton of headroom for modern power AALA textures and ray traced effects. One of the biggest strengths of this card, though, is how effortlessly it overclocks. Every sample we've tested pushes close to or past 3 GHz on the core while staying under 70 degrees, which is crazy for a mid-range GPU. At 1440p, the card regularly delivers triple-digit frame rates in demanding titles, even before you turn on DLSS 4 or multi-frame generation. And when you do enable those features, the 5070 Ti becomes surprisingly capable at 4K as well. Its closest competitor is AMD's RX 9270 XT. And while that AMD card can sometimes pull ahead in raw rasterized performance, NVIDIA's stronger feature set and its incredibly consistent frame gen performance keeps the 5070 Ti in the lead, at least when prices aren't inflated. And that last part matters. In some regions, this card has crept up toward $900. But if you can find it close to the $750 MSRP, it's easily the best mid-range GPU of the year. Number 3. Intel Arc B570 Now, for the biggest plot twist of the entire list, Intel actually has the best budget GPU in 2025. The Arc B570 might not sound exciting, but when you consider what it offers for around $200, it becomes a shockingly good deal. It carries 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory with around 380 gigabytes per second of bandwidth and draws only about 150 watts under load. In real-world gaming, this translates into a very comfortable 60 frames per second experience at 1080p with high settings. And if you enable upscaling or frame interpolation, the card can even handle 1440p in a lot of titles. Intel's drivers have improved massively since the rough early days of ARC, and while you'll still occasionally run into a game that needs a patch, the overall experience is far better than most people expect. There is one caveat. NVIDIA's RTX 5050 is supposed to launch around $250, and if that price holds, the B570 might lose its crown. But right now, with actual street pricing, this is the most capable true-budget GPU you can buy. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 9060 XT Moving into the value category, the Radeon RX 9060 XT delivers far more than its price would suggest. It comes with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which is a huge deal for modern games. And even though its bandwidth sits around 320 gigabytes per second, AMD's architecture handles memory-heavy workloads surprisingly well. The total board power lands around 160 watts, making it one of the most efficient cards in the entire lineup. In actual gameplay, the 9060 XT performs right alongside NVIDIA's RTX 5060 Ti 16GB model at both 1080p and 1440p, despite costing significantly less in most regions. And while neither card is built for high-end 4K gaming, 
The AMD model matches or beats the NVIDIA alternative in many rasterized benchmarks. The only real downside is that the car doesn't offer much overclocking headroom, so what you see out of the box is pretty much what you get. But for anyone trying to maximize their performance per dollar, the RX 9060 XT is exactly what a value card should look like. Efficient, consistent, and surprisingly future-proof thanks to that 16GB memory configuration. Pick number 1. AMD Radeon RX 9070 And now, the GPU that makes the most sense for the most people in 2025, the AMD Radeon RX 9070. This card hits the perfect balance between price and performance. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and pulls roughly 220 watts under load, giving it excellent efficiency for the performance it delivers. In raw rasterized gameplay, the RX 9070 lands extremely close to the RX 9070 XT, often within just a couple of percentage points, despite costing significantly less. What makes this card stand out even more is how well it responds to undervolting and light overclocking. With just a bit of tuning, it gets close to the performance of both the RX 9070 XT and NVIDIA's RTX 5070 Ti, which is impressive considering the price gap. Ray tracing performance is also much improved compared to AMD's previous generations, and FSR 4 Plus frame generation keep getting better with each update. At around $550, the RX 9070 simply delivers the best overall experience for the majority of gamers, especially anyone targeting 1440p with high refresh rates. It's the card I would recommend to most of my friends, if I had any. And that's the list. 5 GPUs that actually make sense in 2025. No filler, no fluff, just the cards that deliver real performance at their price points. Let me know what you're building this year. Are you sticking to a budget with Intel, grabbing unbeatable value from AMD, or going full chaos mode with the RTX 5090? Drop your setup in the comments. If this helped you out, hit that like button, subscribe for more hardware deep dives, and as always, build smart, game sharp, stay crispy.